Hello, N4 H&H &H here with the Asu FTDX10. I want to show you a couple of neat little things. I know some of you are hating all over this 3D SS, uh, the 3D spectrum scope. Um, uh, and I just had a question about the colors on it and just wanted to let you know that you can change the colors. You just press your function knob here and you go to the color button and you've got different options here. There's blue. Let me show you another one. And if you look where the marker is, okay, let me get the mouse and show you. This, this right here is called the marker. Whoops, I might get over there, mouse. See right there? And if you look right there, you can see that CW. You see it pulsing up? And you can see the code right here too. I've got the oscilloscope set on 10 dB, whoops, 10 dB and 300 milliseconds. A uh, tip from Joel, my friend Joel. Um, and look, you can count the dits and daws in there in the uh, oscilloscope area. But if you look right here, you can also see the peaks coming up. Now what I did there, I've got peak, which is right here. Let me do that with the mouse so you can, oh, marker on. Peak, I've got set. Hey y'all, we need to ask Yesu for a right click to bring up the menu. I have to reach over there and touch the function knob to bring the menu up. But peak, all right. You can get level one through uh, five. You see what it's doing? Look, look how it's brightening up the peaks. I had it on level two. Let's, you know, we'll try three. That might, yeah, that might wash it out just a little bit. I think two is what I found works best. Now color, again, let's try this one. That looks, that looks cool. But now look, yes, yeah, look at the oscilloscope right down here. And can you see my mouse? Okay, so here, um, and that is a wireless Logitech, by the way. I've I've been using my wired one, but um, um, well, I don't want to go into it. But I'm making room on the desk, and I want to get rid of the wire. Um, this is not a new Logitech; it's one I've had for a while. But look at this. Count the dits and daws in here. You can see the dits are the short ones, and the daws are the long ones. And like I said, look right here where the marker is and you can see the peaks coming up as he's sending. And you are looking at the radio screen, that is not my monitor. And of course we're tuned into the ARRL's code practice. So if you're getting into CW, you might want to play around with this. 10 dB, 300 milliseconds on the oscilloscope. You can click it with your mouse or do it with the finger, see? It is kind of nice because, you know, you might get bored with the same color after a while. So it is kind of nice to be able to uh, switch the colors out. Now against that blue like that, I think the peak might show up a little bit stronger. I guess they're not sending anymore. And guys, we've got to be able to, re we got to request so that when you click on these numbers with the mouse and they flash that you can use the mouse wheel. It doesn't allow us to do that. What you can do is if you click the mouse in here, then you can dial in, you can punch in an exact frequency. But you gotta use the VFO. Okay, I'm gonna press the zero in button. Y'all don't see it, it's off screen, but 
it will find the frequency it needs to get me my 600 hertz tone. Hey, see how, hear how quiet he sounds, how nice and clean, and that, look at his signal. Let's see if the decoder can track him. Okay, I'm going to turn decode off. And again, we'll try a different color. Adjusting the uh, scope sensitivity. See if, if I get too sensitive, you're going to start seeing the noise floor. Here's the default. And again, just to remind you, the signal we're listening to is right here where the marker is. And while we're at it, here's one more thing I think that we should be able to do with the mouse. On, on Ham Radio Deluxe, we can set a range, you know, that if I click the mouse and I'm within, say, a thousand hertz, 
it'll go ahead and lock on to the signal that's there. You know, you can set it, how many hertz. So for example, if I see a signal up here and I want to tune to it, and I click on it, it only gets me close. And that's FT8. But in other words, you know, let's try one of these. See, it'll only get you close with it. With HRD uh, on my 5000, I can just click near where there's a signal and it'll find it and lock right onto it. But again, isn't that cool here? You can see the dits and daws right there on the scope. Okay, well, I uh, just wanted to show you those things about the scope and the color scheme and uh, let you know, yes, the color scheme can be tweaked. Um, as you can see here, you have 11 different options for the color. All right. Well, hey, thanks for watching and thank you, Patreons, for helping me uh, keep this channel going. I sure do appreciate that. And if you'd like to become a Patreon, please do go to www.patreon.com. Let me turn this down a little bit. Patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. Patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. And, um, you know, help us out. We can keep bringing you content like this. If you like this kind of content and we want to support it, uh, that would be much appreciated. And, of course, if you would, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. That helps as well. And if you would, click the bell and you'll be notified when I upload the next video. Okay, hey, thanks for watching in 73 from N4HNH.